basu kalala basi yes lord man dili dili basha kalala basi raso budi balivria father your name is worthy god yes lord we come to lift up your name we come to glorify your name jesus hallelujah to the lamb that was slain to the king of kings and the lord of lords father there is none like you in jesus mighty name god as we come into your presence this our father god we declare victory over our lives we declare victory in the name of jesus father god somebody needs father god to hear this word victory this hour father in the name of jesus yes lord we magnify you and we thank you and we say yes to your will and yes to your purpose we say yes to your desire in the name of jesus to the lamb that was slain before the foundations of this universe father we come to say glory to your name god yes lord we worship you father god we worship you this our father god what shall we render unto the lord for all of his benefits towards us ah father god there is nothing that we can bring to you god which is going to be enough to say thank you father in the name of jesus father god we usher you into this atmosphere we usher you into this atmosphere we bring you into this environment father god we pray that there will be no vacuum in the name of jesus that you will occupy this space you will occupy this time you will occupy this environment in the mighty name of jesus father god i need you to come on in jesus come on in holy ghost come on in holy ghost come on in holy ghost we worship you and we say thank you we worship you and we say thank you father for how you have taken us through this year father for how you have taken us through this year father we could not have come this far without you god we would not have been able to make it without you father so lord we rise up this morning we rise up this afternoon we rise up this evening god this afternoon we rise up this evening god and we say thank you in the name of jesus father we say thank you for your purpose yes lord i feel the fire of god in the mighty name of jesus father god penetrate father god penetrate every dark place penetrate every place that the enemy father god has become a stronghold in the life of the people of god in the mighty name of jesus penetrate god penetrate lamb of god penetrate lamb of god Yes, Lord. Bless His name. Deliverance needs to break free, God. In the hey. name of Jesus, somebody needs deliverance from this. Somebody needs a separation de de from a relationship which is toxic. Jesus. By the blood of Jesus and the fire of the Holy Ghost. Fire of we the demand Holy Ghost. a release in the yes, name of Lord. Jesus. Let there be a release in this Jesus hour. Name. Let there be a supernatural yes, release. Lord. Let there be a supernatural release yes, in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, God, yes, we worship Lord. you, God. Father, we thank you yes, in the name Lord. of Jesus. Ha! There is none like you, Jesus. Hey! There is none like you, Holy Ghost of Israel. There is none yes, like you Lord. in the name of Jesus, God. Jesus. We call upon your name and we demand the release, yes, God. We demand that deliverance. We demand that hey! in the name of Jesus. My God. Father, we assign your angels. In Jesus' name. Father, we assign the angels of the living God. In Jesus' in the name. In the name of Jesus, Father, release them to us. We lift up the name of Jehovah. The people of God. We hey. The Father God, the yes, host of Lord. heaven, will begin to be deployed Good morning. in their rightful places. Father, they shall begin to work in the favor of those hey. who are saved and sanctified. Those ah. who belong to the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. We demand the release this Yes, Lord. We demand hey. the release. 
My God, ha. we demand their release in the name of Jesus. We demand the release in the name of Jesus. We demand the release in the name of Jesus. Let them be released right now. In Jesus' name. Let them be released right now. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Hey, Jesus God, we thank you. Yes, Lord. Now. We bless you most. Yes, now. In the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Hey. My God, the breakthrough is already here. In Jesus' name. Yes, Lord. Release. 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 Yes, Lord. We thank Him. We lift up His name. My God. In Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Hey. There comes the power of God. Hey, yes, Lord. We lift him up. We lift him up. Come on in Jesus. Come on in Jesus. Hey, come on in Jesus. My God. Hey, Halalabasia. Halalabandele Basha. Vesovo le Valivria. Halabandele Gria Sakalabas. Yes, Lord. Halalabandele le Basha. Hey, my God. Jesus. Hey, my God. Yes, Lord. Le Prusikalabas. Jesus. Yes, Lord. We thank you for the same. My God. Hey. Halalabas. Jesus, we thank you for this mouth. We thank you for this new mouth. In the name of Jesus, God. We bring it home, Father God. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. We're bringing in the presence of God. Jesus, this morning, come on in. Hey, my God. When the atmosphere is set, my God. Jesus. Yes, Lord, we thank you. Hey. Malalabandelebasha. In the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Hey. Malalabasia. In the name of Jesus. Hey. My God. Yes. Hey. Take your place. My God. We welcome you into this house. In the name of Jesus, Father God. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Halalabandele le basha. Halalabandele le basi pele le basi. Hey, my God. Jesus. Yes, Lord. I see your message about the fasting, okay? Hey, my God. Yes, Lord. Halalabasi. Hey, my God. Halalabandele le basha. In the name of Jesus, we thank Him. Hey, my God, Jesus, the presence of the Lord, the presence of the Lord. This morning is all over us in Jesus' name. The power of the Holy Ghost is all over us in Jesus' name. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Father, we thank you that this is, this, is, this is a new month, the first of the month of December, the first day of this month. And Father God, this is not the time that we're going to slow down. Rather, God, this is not the month that we're going to be merry, my God, in the name of Jesus. This is actually the time where we're going to be the watchmen and the watchwomen on the wall. We're going to watch not only are we going to watch to see what the Holy Spirit is going to tell us, but we're also going to watch to see the plots and the plans of the wicked one as this year, now we begin the countdown to the end of the year. My God, it, is a, it will be a sad thing for you to come this close and still miss out on, on crossing over into the new year. We thank God. Yes, Lord, for your Holy Spirit, Father, as we come to you, I want us to pray. And look, we're going to pray for the sick, okay? The sick, those who are bound up, those who are not well, we pray for finances tomorrow. But I want us to pray for the sick, okay? 
Let's pray for the sick today in the name of Jesus. The vulnerable ones, the vulnerable amongst us, those who are feeble, those who are in hospitals, those who have been forgotten. Let's pray and bring them before the King of Kings and the Lord. Let's pray as we pray. If you're vulnerable, if, if, if you're weak, listen, don't feel no way. Because let me tell you something. That is the reason why he came. Because he came to set the captives free. And some of us have been captivated by all kinds of stuff. But this morning he comes to set us free. Let's begin to pray this morning. Let's begin to thank him. Let's begin to usher in his presence. His presence is already on this scope and so this morning father god we bring the sick before you holy spirit we bring those who are bound up in alcohol abuse substance abuse father those father god there are addictions that watch this now you can't even see you know it's not every addiction watch this now that brings a physical manifestation when somebody is on drugs you know you can tell when somebody is you know under you know substance abuse you can just tell by their physical appearance and watch this now by the way they react their speech you know there's all kinds of stuff that take place when certain addictions what is now manifest but there are also addictions that you don't know you know somebody who is bound up with you know gambling you know they can have everything going right for them they've got a good job they're earning five figures you know they've got the good family but silently in a dark place they are held up and they are bound up by this addiction that they can't tell nobody about they are ashamed to talk about the addiction to talk about the frustration the things that they want to break free from they are unable to separate from so this morning those are the people that were coming to god we're bringing their names to god say god we may not know listen there are some pastors some men and women of god who are silently suffering with one form of addiction they are silently struggling with smoke you know smoking you know they smoke every now and again they will you know pull to the side and they will you know puff on that cigarette you know they might take a little bit of cocaine heroin you know you don't know that's what they're dealing with the only time you will find out is when they are arrested or when they are caught up in a scandal but we're praying you know many women of god who secretly in the times of darkness they visit prostitutes you know they visit you know transvestites because that is their struggle that is their issue you know and the things that they want to do you know they find themselves not doing but the things that they are that, that they that they know is disgusting the things that they see that is a mess i have a family but i'm a download brother i'm a download prophet i'm a download preacher you know i'm doing things that my wife don't even know that i'm doing i'm messing around we're just now with some young girls and my wife don't even know if the authorities get a hold of me i'm gonna end up in prison these are some of the addictions that men and women of god are dealing with and we don't even know my god we don't even know we don't even know these are some of the stuff that we don't talk about and then what will happen is you know it can take 10 15 20 years you know sometimes 30 40 years and it becomes historical you know historical historical abuse and the people who were abused in their vulnerable state when they were young listen to me now they've now grown up and they become bitter and they turn their backs to the church and sometimes some of these people end up in positions of authority and positions of power listen Haman just didn't show up the only reason why Haman came up and wanted to wipe the people of God out was because four five hundred years ago god had told the king to get rid of all the eager guides but what just now he refused to obey the instructions of god and he kept certain things alive and allowed certain people to escape and so now haman shows up and he is bitter because he remembers historically what uh, listen what what happened to his people 
That's why God will tell you, kill something. Man of God, woman of God, this morning, God will tell you to kill something. Get rid of something. Get rid of this thing. This thing that has become a thorn in the flesh. You know, this thing that is trying to take over your life. This thing that is, listen, this thing, this thing, this thing, this thing, this thing, this thing that is trying to mess with you. You know, God is trying to get you to deal with it. Gotta get rid of it, my God. If that's the last thing that you do, you got to get rid of this thing. Deal with this one thing, this one thing. You know, for, for some of you, it's not many things, it's just one thing. It's just this one thing. This one thing has got you tripping. This one thing has got you into a state and into a place where you don't know what to do this morning. We're not just coming for those who are in the hospital that can move their bodies. Ah, but, 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 but we come to even pray for those of us right now. Listening to me. Some of you, I just spoke directly into your issue and into your situation. And I want you to join me this morning as we bring you to God. If you make up in your mind, listen to me. You've got to make up in your mind. That you're going to go into partnership with God. Listen, some of you is even financial. Some of you are in so much credit card debt. Some of you, you're in so much debt. You know you can't afford the stuff that you're buying, but you keep buying them. You know you don't have to go to the store. You know you don't have you didn't have to go out on Black Friday to buy anything. Now you've gone and you've maxed out your credit cards you've maxed them out and now the debt collectors are knocking on your door this ain't spiritual this is just financial mismanagement now the debt collectors have shown up you don't know how you're gonna pay this bill you don't know how you're gonna settle this bill you don't know my god how you're going to deal with this issue ah but listen to me if we can tap into this place called prayer and we can we can also catch a spirit called discipline 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 i'm going to discipline myself in this month this is the month that you're going to come into a huge amount of debt because you're going to be spending you want to be a people pleaser you want to you know you got so much pressure on you the kids the children my God, asking you for stuff that you can't afford. What do you do? Ah, in the name of Jesus, I wanted to catch this spirit called discipline. Is a spirit called discipline. We're going to walk in a spirit called discipline. This is not a time for you to open up your place and eat at every given opportunity. Some of you, it's not every place that you're going to be invited to go and eat that you should step foot into. It is not every plate that you have to go and eat from. It's not every house that you have to go and dine in that house. You need to be disciplined in the season of this month called December. It's a festive month. In the name of Jesus, my God, those who are sick and bound, those who are dealing with addiction, I will, hey, balalabas, I am persuaded. I am persuaded. I am persuaded that this is the amount that if we can tap into God, listen to me, as we get ready to close this, listen, you got to finish. A, listen, those who run the marathon, they start off very slow. They keep up with the pace and then they finish strong. Ah, one of the skills that you need to be a marathon runner is to make sure that you know how to finish strong. Some of us, listen, we couldn't be the Usain Bolts in this year. You know, the Usain Bolts can only run for 10 seconds flat. They put all their strength and their energy in the first 10 seconds. My God, that's all they've got. They can't give you anymore. After 10 seconds, they're going to be running on empty. Ah, but listen to me. If you know, yes, yes, woman of God, if you know how to pace yourself, 
you know how to pace yourself this is rather the month that you've got to grab a hold of god like never before you've got to grab a hold of him you've got to make sure that you're holding on to his coattails like the woman with the issue of the blood said if i could but touch the hem of his garments i know this issue this thing that has got me tripping this thing that has got me confused he can take it off me and i can be free in the name of jesus so this morning listen to me the bible says clap your hands stamp your feet and declare there are some things that we need to declare as we begin this month this day with a fasting spirit those of you who are with us you know we're fasting today we got two three days we got to fast for three days in this month to commit and to connect ourselves to what the holy ghost wants to do in this month so i want you to begin to open up your mouths and begin to rock begins to rock begins to rock begin to rock back and forth in the name of jesus as the presence of the lord has encountered around us this morning we need to come on in in the name of jesus my soul yes lord is resting in the things of god this morning let's just begin to clap our hands i know they say we're crazy but listen to me there's enough fuel in the holy ghost to power us up this morning so that we will never run on empty begin to clap your hands begin to rock and begin to call upon his name in the name of jesus as we bring the feeble and the weak in the name of Jesus, those who are battling addiction, all forms and all types of addiction, we bring them before God this morning and we declare that they shall be free from every type of addiction. They shall be free in the name of Jesus, that the enemy will not be able to hold them because even death could not hold Jesus captive. If death could not hold him captive, then we pray in the mighty name of Jesus that we will call upon his name and we shall be saved in the name of Jesus. Everybody begin to clap your hands and begin to pray begin to call upon his name because he is the savior and he is the king of kings and those who are bound up those who are looking to doctors as their salvation listen we pray this morning that they will get to know that jesus christ is their savior then there is nothing that no man can do for them jesus is the only one who can call who they can call on and he will save them and he will meet them at their point of need so begin to clap those hands where you are call upon his name say jesus your name is great say jesus your name is jehovah say jesus you are our god and you are our savior father god visit the hospitals visit the hospitals visit those who are bound those who are chained up god locate them father god bless them god anoint them in the name of jesus so that god they will be in a place of victory god they will be in a place of prosperity father god in sickness and in health we pray that father god you will take them away from sickness father you will give them health in the name of jesus god that they won't forget who you are that father we won't forget who you are that jesus we won't forget who you are in the name of jesus we call upon the name we call upon the name let the name of jesus be the medicine be in the iv father in the name of jesus be in that room god be in that room father god and bring salvation and god bring deliverance and father bring restoration father restore those who are bound restore them in jesus name restore them in jesus name restore them in jesus name every sickness disease every uh, infection in the name of jesus Jesus, receive the fire of the Holy Ghost and let the people of God be free right now in their minds. In their minds, take your hands out of their hair. Take your hands off their minds. Take your hands off those who are blind, those who are deaf, those who are mute. In the name of Jesus, Father God, deliver them, deliver them, deliver them in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord God. We thank you, Jesus. We bless your name, Father God. We lift up your name this morning, Father. At the mention of your name, the Bible says every knee must bow and every tongue must confess that Jesus is Lord. We make this confession today so that, Father God, demons will bow at the mention of your name. We make this confession today so that, Father God, the principality will bow at the mention of the name Jesus. Father God, send your presence into the hospital 
angels send your presence into the orphanages send your presence father God to the widows send your presence to those father God who are destitute father those who don't have we pray in the name of Jesus that this will be the day that the process father God from their separation God from wickedness from their separation from poverty father it shall begin today right now in the mighty name of Jesus yes Lord let the fire of God be the agent that consumes consume in Jesus name hey Palalabasia. consume in Jesus name consume in Jesus mighty name in the name of Jesus we bless the name of the Lord yes Lord the power of God is real in Jesus precious name we bless his name Halalabasia. in Jesus name Hallelujah. God bless you. He's a consuming fire. In Jesus' mighty name. Hey, my God, as the presence of the Lord. Yes, Lord. Halalabasia. Okay. Uh, Someone is like, Dr. Daniel asking about the fast. You know, um, I've, I think I was saying this. Uh, hey, Halalabasia. You know, you can fast from 6 to 12, 6 to 3, 6 to 6. Uh, and I've said this, you know, um, you you know what your body can take, okay? I don't want us to be irresponsible. If you're on medication and obviously it becomes difficult for you to fast, you don't have to. You see what I'm saying? Because I just want you to be responsible. I don't want you to be irresponsible. Okay, I don't want you to be irresponsible. Uh, you know, you can do a fruit fast, but you know, don't go eating too much fruits, okay? Just have, you know, just small portions. Do you understand what I'm saying? You know, because some, some, some people will, 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 will replace, you know, the same amount, the, the same portion of food that they will eat with. The, no, just have, just have small portion. You know, the whole purpose is that, you know, you're disciplining your body. You're bringing your body under subjection. Do you see what I'm saying? You know, so, you know, make sure you're taking enough fluids, okay? Water, you know, water. Drink as much water as possible. You know, not only is it a spiritual exercise, it also cleanses your body. Now, I, I, so far I've said we're doing three days. I feel like, I feel that we might continue. Okay, I feel that we might continue. Okay, so um, I just want you to be disciplined. For, so far, I've, I've just said the first, second, and the third maybe we might just go further you know let's flip the script most of the times in the same but that's when most people eat the most and put on the most weight you know what i'm saying going right into the new year you know but uh you know how about we change it how about we flip it around how about we change the script okay you no know, three days so far it's three days the first second and third okay if the lord will have us move on carry on then you know uh uh you know we'll do it okay you know, some of you, maybe God has even told you to, you know, some of you even caught the revelation before and say, hey, God wants me to do it. Be obedient to what God. See, what, let me tell you something. That most of you that want God to talk to you, let me tell you the area that he speaks to you in. Fasting, consecration, and your giving. Most of the time you people, oh, God, speak to me so I can be a prophet or prophetess. Well, you know what? He will start talking to you in those areas. And so Because he wants to see if you're going to be obedient. Because those things are unpopular. When God tells you, don't eat, go on a fast. I'm calling you to a fast in this season. Okay? So, you know, so far we're doing three days, okay? Yes, Lord, in the name of Jesus. So, you know, we, we, you know we're starting today. Okay? Uh, you know, let's pray. Let's be in prayer. You know, what happened in Brazil? It's so sad that, you know, the, 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 the airplane ran out of, you know, of fuel. Ran out of fuel. So sad. You know, young men, you know, young men just beginning their lives because of whatever it is, whether it's mismanagement, whether obviously, you know, it's just, you know, it's just, uh, that's what I'm looking for, you know, incompetence, 
on somebody's behalf. You know, and that's why I keep saying, listen, don't worry about those who come and laugh and mock us on social media. Let me tell you something. You know, you have to be in a place where your life is not in the hands of a human being. Listen, human beings are designed to fail you and to let you down. Because if that doesn't happen, you will put your trust in man. And that will lead you now to be in idolatry. Do you, do you hear what I'm saying? Because that's why from the very get-go, in the Genesis, God made sure it was designed for man to fail God. You see what I'm saying? So, when you catch the revelation, listen, those of you who are going to be, you know, listen, when somebody is the driver, when somebody is the pilot, literally your life is in the hands of the person who's leading you. Some of you in the company that you work for, the CEO, the top people, you've never met them before. You don't even know who they are. You don't even know who the shareholders in the company that you work for are. But what you don't realize is, listen, as long as you don't make a connection to the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, your life is in their hand. If they wake up tomorrow and they get tired and say, listen, I'm tired, I'm, I'm folding in this business. That's your job gone. That's your livelihood gone. Just so that you will do what I need you to do. That's why we pray for leadership. That's why we pray for our nations, our community. Listen, just because they have power, they are powerful and they have titles, president so and so, leader so and so, prime minister, prince, king. Let me tell you something. The power is in your mouth. You can move them. Thank God, I, I, I sense it froze for a couple of seconds. You can move them out of power and you can bring them back into position. Let me pause. Let me stop so that, you know, we can end up, we can end properly because, you know, just in case my connection starts messing up. God bless you. Welcome to the month of December. Welcome to the month of December. Welcome to the month of December. We've made it to this month and we're going to make it. Okay, in Jesus' name, you know, the fasting, you know, six you can do six to six, six to three, six to twelve, whichever one fits your, you know, your, your, your schedule. Okay, in Jesus' mighty name, God richly bless you. In Jesus' mighty name, God richly bless you. In the name of Jesus, God richly, oh, you're well, it is well, surgery, it is well. We, we thank God that it went well. It is well. Okay? It is well. God bless you. The connection is messing up. Love you, our prayer mantle family. Once again, I want to take this opportunity to thank you for the support that you give to this ministry financially. Thank you for your dedication. Thank you for what you do. And thank you for what you keep doing to keep this ministry going. It is a blessing. It is a blessing to be connected to you in this way. In Jesus' name. Amen. All mode of transportation, you're covered by the blood of Jesus. Hey! Lung cancer. We're praying. We're praying, okay? We're praying. In Jesus' name. God bless you. About the orphanage. Which one? The ones that we support? Okay, so I have a plan to visit there this month before Christmas. Buy them a few stuff, okay? Uh, so I guess, okay, I'll come on tonight. I know I've been promising to come on tonight, and I haven't, okay? Uh, forgive me, but I'm going to come on so we can talk about it, okay? I don't want to encroach too much on people's time. Hey, Dr. Dana, the test results. Let me tell you something. I have no fear. It is well. We, we, with all the praying we're doing, it's not... Sister Julia, thank you. I saw that. God bless you. Thank you so much. I appreciate what you did. God is going to bless you for that, for remembering those, you know, people in the orphanage, those young people. Okay, it is well. Okay? It is well. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Sister Mary, you know, for all that you do for the ministry. I'm telling you, God is good. Listen, I'm going to come on tonight so we can just have a chat, okay? I don't want to, I don't want to get nobody upset. 
this morning, okay? We're going to come on in the evening. We're just going to talk, okay? I'm going to come on tonight in Jesus' name. God bless you. Have a blessed day. Yes, you can email Sister Ju Lucy Watts. Yes, yes, you can. Okay? You can. God bless you. Bye-bye.